Here we are with Travis Coffin. We're 24 hours away from what well, I know you would call the biggest fight of your career, taking on Amir Mansoor right across the street, the Santander Arena. How's everything going? Uh, everything's great. You know, I worked hard for this fight. I was gone for uh, 11 weeks uh, out in Houston training. I uh, made a lot of sacrifices for this fight, so uh, I'm ready. Amir Mansoor, a guy you know well. Have you, have you ever fought a guy that you, I mean, how many rounds, well, first of all, how many ra- rounds of sparring have you done with Amir? Total of 18. Uh, first time we, we did six, and that's all we were supposed to do. Next two times we were supposed to do eight, and he quit on me both times in six in this. I don't know why. Now, I'm not saying it because of, because I got the best of him. I'm not talking junk about him. But I think there was something that was going on. He was getting ready for a big fight against Maurice Harris, actually. And uh, the second time, I don't know if it's because he hurt his hand or, or what it was, but he ended up quitting on the second time. And the third time, I got the best of him. What does that, those fights mean, those, those rounds of sparring? Does that mean anything, or is it so long ago, or is it just sparring, or...? Sp- sparring, sparring means nothing. And sparring and fighting is two different things. Uh, you get in there, you're wearing ten ounce gloves, no headgear. You know, when you when you, when you spar, you're wearing eighteen ounce gloves, and um, that's just a different atmosphere. You know, I know he's a better fighter than what he is when he spars, and so am I. So I'm expecting a great fight. This is a fight we're being billed as the road to heavyweight championship. Doesn't take a genius to see the last two guys who have beat Amir Mansoor, Dominic Brazil. Uh, Gerald Washington have immediately gotten title shots. Is that uh, is that what you believe that you uh, are um, would be? I would say entitled to, but you believe a, a win over Mansoor get to a title shot. I think the possibilities are endless after beating Mansoor. First things first, I got to take care of Amir Mansoor. I'm not worried about nobody else but Amir Mansoor. I don't give a shit about Deontay Wilder, uh, Anthony Joshua, Joseph Parker, none of those guys. My focus is Amir Mansoor. After I beat him, then I worry about um, everyone else. A lot of people you read, you talk to the boxing people, say if Travis boxes, he should win the fight. But if he lets out, lets up, and you said at the press conference yesterday, you can't fall asleep on this guy for three seconds or else your lights could be knocked out. I mean, is it, is the fight that simple in terms of he's the puncher, you're the boxer? I'm a puncher. Uh, America punch. Do I think he's the biggest puncher that I've ever faced? No, I don't. But he's, he's probably the most dangerous because he throws everything with bad intentions. Um, and even when he's tired, he throws things with bad intentions. I know I have to be on my P's and Q's at all times, like I said yesterday. I, uh, I'm i the better boxer. I'm more talented. I think I'm a bigger puncher than Amir Mansour. Amir Mansour just throws things with more bad intentions. Uh, there's only, you're going to see different things that in, that, in that fight. I do plan on boxing them, but I'm not going to give away. I'm not going to snitch on myself and give away what I plan on doing. But um, I'm looking for a great fight. How important is it to be fighting, again, probably your biggest fight at home, in writing, with your fans behind you? Should be a, a, you know, you should have a great support there on Friday night. Well, it's always a great thing fighting in my hometown of Reading, Pennsylvania. But no matter where I fight, there's a task at hand. I got to take care of it, whether it was in Reading, Pennsylvania or Beijing, China. It don't matter. I have a fight. I have a man a man in front of me, a dangerous man in front of me, and I have to take care of him. There's a lot of fights in China these days. Be careful what you wish for. You may go You may go there. Hey, if the money's right, let's go. Anything you want to say in close? No, I just want to, I want to thank all my fans, and I appreciate everybody who's been supporting me all these years. And my journey's just beginning. Big fight. We'll see you tomorrow night. Thank you. Thank you.